Coming up next, this man is from Baltimore, a.k.a. Charm City. However, he is the least charming person I've ever met in my life. Coming up next, Tom Myers. Hello, Greenbelt. Yes. Uh, as was just mentioned, I am from Maryland. Whenever I travel outside the state, people often ask me to describe Maryland. I tell them Maryland is a tough state. Really is. Give you an example. Our official state flower is the black-eyed Susan. You know you're from a really tough state when your official state flower sounds like a domestic violence victim. I travel. I uh, travel a lot. I get to travel to uh, Las Vegas quite a bit. Uh, comics. You ever get the chance to do Las Vegas? Uh, do it, man. It's great. Absolutely. I spent a lot of time out there. I found out one thing while I was out there that Baltimore and Las Vegas have one major thing in common, and that is in both Baltimore and in Las Vegas, after you have sex, you can get crabs. <laughs> I got to do a New Year's Eve show out in Kansas. Oh, yeah, because my agent rocks. It was one of those tiny little tumble-down shacks where you go ahead and get something to eat. I walk in, it has one of those scary bumper stickers over the bar. This bumper sticker said, Ted Kennedy's car has killed more people than my gun. Whoa. Very intense. I want to come up with a bumper sticker in response to that that says, More young women are shot in the face by guns than have been shot in the face by Bill Clinton. But they're nice out in Kansas. They really are. They're just a little bit behind us time-wise. Literally, they're in a different time zone. Like... Right here in Greenbelt, it's about uh, 7.30 in the evening, which means in Kansas, it's 1951. <laughs> I get to perform in West Virginia a lot. Something interesting about West Virginia, West Virginia was formed because it broke away from Virginia during the Civil War. Virginia was with the Confederacy, so everybody in West Virginia wanted to separate themselves. So basically, West Virginia was formed because the good people of West Virginia didn't want to be known as a bunch of backwoods, inbred, redneck racists. Oh, what a fucking irony. I got to travel to uh, Alabama a little bit ago. Uh, saw a very interesting sign when I was in Alabama. Passed a sign that said, Welcome to Tuscumbia, Alabama, birthplace of Helen Keller. Wouldn't you know what? There was nothing to see down there. <laughs> Uh, some uh, news out of Alabama. They took a poll of uh, all the residents of Alabama and they said that the number one concern of the residents of Alabama was immigration. That's a legitimate concern, seeing as how Mississippi is located right next door. <laughs> Read an interview uh, with uh, billionaire financier Warren Buffett. He admitted in this interview that he drinks five cans of Coca-Cola a day. Five cans of Coca-Cola a day? If you ever pop some Mentos in his mouth, his head's gonna skyrocket higher than his fucking net worth. I am what's known as a single parent. I have a lot of kids. They're all just crusting on a t-shirt under my bed right now. <laughs> Dan says he likes to feel out the audience. I like to go at you guys with a jackhammer, all right? <laughs> But no, I broke up with this uh, girl recently because I found out she lied to me. Yeah, she told me she was into S&M. Found out later she had dyslexia. And multiple sclerosis. <laughs> I dated this one girl. She was into all this fantasy and role-playing stuff. Like, she used to pretend that she was a Catholic schoolgirl. And I used to pretend that I loved her. <laughs> I like using handcuffs when I'm in bed with a woman. I'm not kinky, I just don't want her stealing my money and credit cards from my wallet while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I love expressions. You've heard that expression, if it has tits or tires, it's going to give you trouble. That's why I will never date a woman in a wheelchair. <laughs> There's also that other expression, I'm sure you've heard of it, you can usually tell, uh, if you see a mother and a daughter walking down the street together, you can usually tell what the daughter's going to look like in about 20 or 30 years just by looking at the mother. You've heard that expression, right? But let's say the daughter is by herself, if she's not with the mother, you can usually tell what she's going to look like in about 20 or 30 years, provided she's a burn victim. 
I did that joke with a burn victim sitting right up front, and he found that hilarious. Or annoying or offensive. I don't know. It was difficult to gauge the expression on his face. I get that, I get that reaction a lot. I do, because people I've known for a long time react to me like that. They do. I've known this person for 25 years. He came up to me the other day and said, Tom, I shudder whenever I hear the words that come out of your mouth. Then I have to remind him he's the one who stopped taking his anti-seizure medication. <laughs> but it's good performing in front of you guys. Uh, once, I, once I leave, I get out of here. I get to go home. I get to go home to my cat. I love my cat. I really do. He's my best buddy. He really is. You know why? Because cats act just like men. Oh, yeah, because I know, just, just, as soon as I get home, my cat, just like a man, is going to be sacked out on my couch in front of my TV going, hey, what's up? You know, my food dish is empty, my goddamn food dish is empty, and have you seen the state of my litter box? I know you don't clean your bathroom, you sick freak, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have to clean mine, all right? I'm serious. Refill my food dish, clean out my litter box, I'm going to sit here and watch television. No, I'm not changing the channel either. Well, I don't have thumbs. I can't, so. No, I'm not watching Animal Planet, you dork. I'm watching my favorite movie of all time, Old Yeller. Oh. <laughs> Greenbelt, it's been a pleasure spending time with you. My name is Tom Myers. Keep it going for Ron and all the other comics on the bill tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tom Myers, everybody. Very funny guy.